encroaching on it. Stevon has to move. He's going up on the right side. Can't get around this rock through the blue. Needs to try to make something out of the for the clutch play. Can't get it! Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Hifan PUBG Mobile. As many of you requested, I will go over my PUBG Mobile settings on my brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you are new to my channel, I play competitive PUBG Mobile in North America and use 4 finger claw control with always on gyroscope. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do and turn the notification on so that you can get access to professional players tips and tricks and help you become a pro. Okay, let's go through my basic settings first. There are three things I want to point out here. First one is that I disable aim assist at all time. Aim assist does make your recoil control and close combat easier to aim, but when two enemies got too close to each other, it will mess up your aim. I died a lot because of that in scrims. The second one is that I disable block side warning. I like to see my aim point when I'm behind cover. It will make my pre-aim more accurate. Thirdly, I find it's quite important to separate jump and climb. When enemies are behind low walls, you can jump and shoot without climb over to the other side and get yourself killed. Let's go over graphic settings right now. This is the setting most pro players use, smooth graphic and the extreme frame rate. Even though the iPhone 11 Pro Max supports HDR, I play with smooth settings instead, because it will make your phone generate less heat and allows you to spot enemies in the grass easily. And I play with colorful style mainly in competitive games, however, I use softer style more often in classic games because it causes less eye strain personally. For controls, I tried two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, and even five fingers claw control. This is the settings I'm most comfortable with, but what works for me may not work for you. So I will do an in-depth review of each control settings pro and con in my next video. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn the notification on so that you will not miss any videos I post in the future. Before we jump into my sensitivity, lots of you were wondering what are those on my fingers. These are called finger sleeve. I got it from Amazon. Link is in my description down below. I bought those because my fingers sweat when I play mobile games, and I can hardly move my fingers over phone screen. This finger sleeve helps with that and improves the consistency of my gameplay. This one is thin, breathable, and very sensitive compared with other finger sleeves I have tried. I also secured a deal with the merchant for you guys. Use coupon SHIFANPUBGM at checkout, you can receive 8% discount on your orders. Now let's talk about the sensitivity. I use iPhone 11 Pro Max with 6.5 inch screen and I wear finger sleeve while playing PUBG Mobile. But no screen protected though. I find the combination of the two make my fingers slide too fast. There are many factors involved for getting the best sensitivity for yourself. So my sensitivity can only be a reference for your own. For your look camera sensitivity, I adjust it to 150. I find it's in the sweet spot where it's neither slow nor fast so that I can catch all the action around me. In this camera section, I want to point out that third and first person no scope sensitivity is a very important factor for close combat. I set mine to 100 and uh, 110 respectively if you can use a single fast swipe and get your character to do a 180 turn, I would think the sensitivity is considerably good. If you are a non gyroscope player, the ADS sensitivity basically decides how good you can control the recoil for any scopes and the guns. 
so I suggest that you take a lot of time to adjust it. Third and first person no scope play a factor in the accuracy of your hip fire. Normally you can just set it the same as the corresponding sensitivity in the last camera section. But for me personally, I want to have lower sense and uh, be more accurate in hip fire, so I turn them down a little bit. For other scopes sensitivity, you can start to adjust it from 1%. If you can't control the vertical recoil, increase it by 5%, vice versa. You should repeat doing it until you can master your vertical recoil. Remember to find your most comfortable thumb movement when controlling the recoil, then keep it the same way when repeating my steps. You should let sensitivity follow your favorite thumb's movement not copying other people's sensitivity and changing your own habit. In gyroscope section, you guys can see I crank up almost everything to max. If you have ever tried a gyroscope for PUBG Mobile, it will probably take few weeks practice to do the right. Personally speaking, it's worth it. I can control recoil better with the combination of ABS and the gyroscope. I control vertical recoil mainly with gyroscope. With the help of my right thumb, I can adjust the horizontal recoil at the same time. Unlike most professional PUBG Mobile player, I use auto pickup in competitive games. I find this quite fast and helpful when getting my loot, since I don't need to worry about what things I accidentally picked up. However, you should let your teammates know that you enable auto pickup before they try to drop you meds or ammo. Otherwise, it will stop your heal process and it may put yourself in greater danger. In the last section, I only make two changes. One is crosshair color. I change it to red since I feel like it's the most noticeable color among all those options. Another change is crosshair style for red dot. I change it to this little arrow, which make me headshot enemies more often. But it's kinda hard to use if you have only red dot and enemies are in mid range. So here's the most requested video by you guys. If there are anything you guys would like to know more, please comment down below. I will do more videos according to your questions. If you find my content useful, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye.